Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on perianal fistula. A perianal fistula, also called fistula in onyo, refers to an abnormal connection between the anal canal and the perianal skin. The majority of cases are associated with anorectal abscess formation. The Parks classification system divides anal fistulae into four distinct types. Intersphincteric fistula is the most common type. Transsphincteric fistula, suprasphincteric fistula, and extrasphincteric fistula. The formation of an perianal fistula typically occurs as a consequence of an anorectal abscess. However, other risk factors for their formation include inflammatory bowel disease, mainly perianal Crohn's disease, systemic diseases, typically diabetes mellitus, history of trauma to the anal region, and previous radiation therapy to the anal region. For clinical features, anal fistulae usually present with either recurrent perianal abscesses or intermittent or continuous discharge onto the perineum, including mucus, blood, pus, or feces. On examination, an external opening on the perineum may be seen. These can be fully open or covered in granulation tissue. A fibrous tract may be felt underneath the skin on digital rectal examination. The Goodsell rule can be used clinically to predict the trajectory of a fistula tract. Depending on the location of the external opening, shown in this diagram, we look at the transverse anal line. If the external opening is posterior to the transverse anal line, fistula tract will follow a curved course to the posterior midline. Whereas if the external opening is anterior to the transverse anal line, the fistula tract will follow a straight radial course to the dentate line. For investigation, MRI imaging can be done to visualize the anatomy of the tract. For treatment, if there is perianal abscess present, drainage is done. For those due to perianal Crohn's disease, medical management of the Crohn's disease is often started first prior to further surgical intervention. For surgical treatment, the most common surgical methods employed are a fistulotomy, which is suitable for superficial disease. This involves laying the tract open by cutting through skin and subcutaneous tissue, allowing it to heal by secondary intention. Another option is the placement of a sedan through the fistula. This method is suitable for high tract disease. It attempts to bring together and close the tract, passing out at opening of the perianal skin adjacent to the external opening. That's all for this video. Thank you.